Join me for a day in the life at a Norwegian Fjord horse farm in Wisconsin. Let's go. It's a beautiful morning here in Wisconsin. So in the morning, we get to feed the horses breakfast. And one of the things I love about being on a horse farm is you just get to walk out of the house, head out to the barn. The horses are all here waiting for breakfast. And there's something pretty wonderful about that munching sound of hay. <laughs> Fjords are one of the oldest and purest horse breeds in the world. They are easily recognizable with their unique manes, primitive markings, and dun coloring. Finn really loves herding the birds. All right, ponies are fed. It's time for me to get a little coffee and then get to work. So. Why exactly am I hanging out with fjords in rural Wisconsin? Almost two decades ago, these wonderful people invited a young girl over to meet their fjords. We've had a lot of amazing adventures since then, but that is another story. Welcome to my office. I'm really excited because today I get to start work on the Thoroughbred Breed video. There's always so many different things to do in regards to website management and social media posts, and video editing and research, but I really love it when I get to get in and start these breed videos. All right, so you guys are in for a treat. We are gonna head out and grab Petra and Sweet Pea, and Phil is going to drive his team. So these are national champions and uh, just really, really awesome horses. So I can't wait to introduce you to them. This is one of Phil's newer teams. He bred, raised, trained, and shows them. He competes in pleasure driving shows, as well as combined driving events, which are a three-phase carriage driving discipline, similar to eventing. Favorite thing? Yeah. Oh man, there's lots happening. There's lots to watch. You know, it's it's just the dynamics. It's a really dynamic happening when we're when we're in motion. And I like the power of having two horses in front of me. Because you know when they take off they can go. That and the dynamics and just watching everybody work together. It's cooperation, you know, they gotta cooperate. I gotta cooperate with them, they gotta cooperate with me. It's a team effort. I, I like that. Uh, canner, hop! Get that. We're trying to build ponies that are going to compete and do well in the in the country. And, uh, yeah. So there's we have purpose, right? Absolutely. I mean, they understand we have purpose. It's not just out lollygagging. We have purpose, and uh, so I think that's important. I love it. <laughs> so great. Phil and Elsa are professional woodcarvers, and I always love popping up to the shop to see what they're working on.
Right now I'm just shaping the highs and the lows and the pencil is the most important. So just decide where I want my gouges to go. This is what it looks like starting. This and is just barely starting. Just the beginning. Yeah. You can check out their projects at norskwoodworks.com. And of course, I can never pass up the opportunity to head out for a ride on one of my favorite horses. This is Ildar. He is a Red Dun Norwegian Fjord horse gelding, and we're gonna head out for a little ride today. It's garden to horseback instead of farm to table. It's garden to horseback. That could be a thing. Mm. I love raspberries so much. I keep running the camera in the tree. <laughs> Guess which one is the gray fjord? Guess which one is the red fjord? <laughs> I always love getting back to Wisconsin to ride because everything is so green. It's always a little different after being gone for a long time. When you get back, you kind of see things with, uh, with fresh eyes. And so it's just been really fun to enjoy all of that here. Good boy. This is what happens when a red dun tries to become a brown dun. Who needs a gym when you have a horse barn? <laughs> Thank you so much to Phil and Elsa for having us here, sharing your amazing place with us. I love being here. It is always just such a special time. What do you guys think? Do you want to go out to the pasture? I think the answer is a definite yes. Yep. Yeses all around. Seven yeses, I would say. Hey, Frodo. Good boy. So we're gonna let the horses out for a couple of hours this evening so they can get dinner while we go and get dinner. Josefina's showing us the way. <laughs> so it's really easy. All we have to do is bring this lash up. Open sesame. And the ponies make their way out. See him come around the corner here in a minute at the far end of the pasture. But that is a sight, no matter how many times you see it, it never gets old. It's time to go get the horses in from the pasture. And as you can see, they're all the way down at the far end. The best part about going out to get the horses from the pasture is hanging out in the pasture with the horses. <laughs> Each breed has their own unique story 
And within those stories, there are amazing people dedicating their lives to horses. Phil and Elsa's Fjords are some of the horses that inspired my quest to ride every breed, a journey that has involved over 50 breeds in seven different countries so far. Thanks so much for spending the day with me. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Happy riding, everyone. I'll see you next time. This is the part where Alyssa falls off the horse. All for a raspberry. Mm, it's worth it though. Does the cameraman get to ride now? The cameraman gets to ride now.